know, how far does he go? My gosh, he can do anything, so why does he have to build a robot to take over the world? He doesn't. He just does it because it's fun. It's a rare thing to get a sequel, first of all. Second, um, to feel like you're a fan of the movie. Mm. Like, I'm a fan of the game, I'm a fan of these movies, and, and so not only do I get to be a part of it, I get to go and experience it with the fans and enjoy it and the sort of like pop culture, you know, uh, where I'm trying to think of the, uh, you know, the collective consciousness of the pop great. culture. We tried to make sure this movie was for everybody, not just geared towards kids, but you know, much like sometimes people have the idea that because it has an animated character, because it's a cartoon or something like that, it's just animated toward, it's just for kids, but this is for everybody, just like, uh, which I think is exciting and stuff like that. I think my brain shut down halfway through that sentence. Oh, that was great. You're no match for me. I have been training for this my entire life. And I have no training at all, yet here I am ahead of you. As, uh, you know, having grown up with Sonic video games, like on the Sega Genesis and everything, like watching the movie from that perspective was so like mind blowing. Now to get to work together, bring in these fan favorite characters like Tails and Knuckles, send them on this big action adventure, get to visit these sort of locations and do set pieces that just really are, are as sonic as it, as it possibly gets. I love how all the pieces of the puzzle is just expanded and it makes sense. It's not like thrown at the wall, but every part makes a lot of sense. And it's just bigger set pieces, bigger blue, Bigger, more characters, knuckles and tails. So I mustache. I need a bigger mustache. <laughs> He's also got this evolution going on. And he grows this mustache, which is an outward manifestation of ego and probably some midlife crisis thing, and finds this emerald, which is obviously very important to the Sonic universe. Then he goes from really smart guy with a chip on his shoulder and a plan for world domination to actual demigod of evil 3.0. Papa's got a brand new stash. Ah! 